George Fisher Piping Systems has gained from 50 years of experience in development and application contributes to producing cement joints that are both durable and robust. Cement jointing with George Fisher fittings and pipes made of PVCU is easy to learn. The practical training, however, is a precondition for successful application. The following film outlines the most important steps. Tools and equipment. For handling the pipes efficiently and producing cement joints, standard tools and aids may be used. A pipe cutter or handsaw, a camphoring device and deburring tool, tangent cleaner, PVC U tangent cement, a waterproof pen, a suitable brush, depending on the size of the pipe, a white absorbent and lint-free paper towel, and gloves. Preparation. For a safe work environment, please pay attention to the following aspects. Ensure a well-ventilated environment. Avoid open flames when cleaning or cementing. Pay attention to the safety data sheets provided by the glue manufacturer and use the recommended solvent-proof gloves. Square-cut pipe ends are a prerequisite for a perfect cement joint. For cutting, preferably use a pipe cutter. For bigger dimensions, you may also use a handsaw. Prior to jointing, pipe ends must be camphored with the camphoring device and deburred on the inside. With a pipe diameter of D50 camphor, for example, by 2 to 3 millimeters, with a diameter of D63 to D225 camphor by 3 to 6 millimeters, and above D225 by 6 to 8 millimeters. This is not necessary for fittings. All George Fisher PVCU fittings feature a pre integrated camphor. Only camphored pipe ends and deburred edges ensure that the cement can penetrate evenly between pipe and socket. PVCU cement. Only PVCU cement with gap filling qualities must be used for solvent cementing. George Fisher recommends the Henkel Tangent PVCU cement system for all PVCU solvent cement joints. All specifications are based on using Tangent PVCU, including strength and chemical resistance. For all other cements, please refer to the manufacturer's instructions. PVCU Tangent contains around 20% PVCU dissolved in a blend of solvents. The solvents soften and macerate the edges of the surfaces they are applied to. Once the solvents have evaporated, they leave a homogeneous joint with the same mechanical, thermal and chemical properties as the PVCU pipe system. The cement must be stirred well before use. Flawless glue flows evenly and with a plume. Lumpy cement running unevenly as shown here must not be used. Our cement has a maximum shelf life of 24 months from the date of bottling, which is printed on the bottom of the tin. The adhesive must not be diluted. Cementing. The jointing pipe surfaces and fitting must be clean and free of grease. Otherwise, they must be cleaned with Tangent Cleaner. Use a fresh tissue for each cleaning step. Dispose of used cleaning tissues in a lidded bin to avoid unnecessary concentrations of solvent fumes in your work area. Marking the insertion depth on the pipe surface will help you to apply the cement far enough down the pipe and enable you to check the correct insertion depth within the socket. Use a brush for applying the cement. The size of the brush corresponds to the pipe diameter. First apply a cohesive, even layer of cement in an axial direction around the whole circumference. 
Inside the fitting, the glue should be spread more thinly than on the pipe. This will prevent a bulge of cement being pushed along the inside. It's important to completely cover all jointing surfaces with cement. Spread the cement more generously towards the end of the pipe, but still in a cohesive layer and in an axial direction. Immediately following the application of the cement, align the parts according to the markings on the pipe and the useful angle markers on the fitting. Then, swiftly but gently push them together as far as they will go, without twisting and hold or fix in place for a few seconds. Next, wipe off the bead of glue on the outside. In order to prevent solvent loss, be sure to securely close all glue and solvent tins with screw caps as soon as you interrupt or finish your work. For pipe diameters in excess of 90 mm, two persons should apply the cement simultaneously, one to the pipe end, the other to the socket. Never move the pipes during the first five minutes after cementing. After this initial period, the joints may be carefully exposed to mechanical stress, thus enabling continuous workflow. It is important to proceed swiftly during the jointing process. The time frame of the glue at a surrounding temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and a layer thickness of 1 mm is a mere 4 minutes. This time frame shrinks with increased temperatures or reduced layer thicknesses. Below 5 degrees Celsius, provisions must also be made to avoid condensation and icing. Installed pipelines and valves should be left open, thus allowing solvent fumes to escape. Brushes used for applying the cement should be cleaned thoroughly with Tangit Cleaner to avoid stiffening. Before reusing cleaned brushes, make sure they are dry to the touch. Operation The surrounding temperature affects the time until load-bearing capacity, that is, testing or operation pressure, is reached. For details, please refer to the George Fisher Adhesive Joining instructions. One hour per bar of operating pressure is the ballpark figure for construction site conditions. Thus, for one bar, the last jointing must have been finished one hour ago. For six bars, at least six hours. Then, the pipe system must be rinsed and vented thoroughly to remove any remaining solvent fumes. Provided there's no danger of frost and the system has passed the leak test, it's best filled with water and left standing. These cement joints are long-term leak-proof and highly reliable. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. GF Piping Systems is always your reliable partner for all installations in plastic piping systems.